In 2019, a sick turtle was found trapped in fishing nets off the coast of Argentina. Her story shocked the world. Vets at the Mundo Marino Foundation were concerned about the animal's low weight, but the blood work revealed nothing. Hours later, everything became clear though. The turtle had consumed so much plastic in the ocean, she was defecating a string of human trash the length of her body. With plastic often toxic to turtles, her survival was now in the hands of vets. This is what happened next. Between 5 and 13 million tonnes of plastic ends up in our oceans every single year. There's even an island in the Pacific completely made up of human waste, and it's bigger than some countries. Plastic kills more than 100,000 marine animals each year, and it's now thought that 100% of baby turtles have traces of plastic in their stomachs. It's destroying ecosystems all over the world. And when you add chemicals and abandoned fishing equipment into the mix, turtles are struggling more than most. At the time of filming, the Mundo Marino Foundation had rescued two dozen turtles in the year. Nearly half defecated plastic while they were at the center. One turtle had to have an abscess removed from its nostril. It was only found because another turtle brought in at the same time had plastic-related injuries, prompting vets to carry out further tests. If left untreated, it would have been fatal. Both animals were eventually released, but it took months to get them fighting fit for the ocean. It's thought turtles mistake plastic bags and other rubbish for things like jellyfish, food they eat regularly. What happens when they consume so much waste is not for the faint-hearted. Not only is plastic toxic to turtles, it also has no nutritional value, obviously. When they eat it, they believe they're full, so don't pursue the food they actually need. This can lead to starvation or weight loss as we saw with the turtle mentioned at the beginning. The good news is, non-profit organisations like the Mundo Marino Foundation are able to treat those they take in. The shocking story of the turtle in the pool ended on a positive note. Somehow, the animal hadn't picked up an infection, which is often what kills them when it comes to plastic. After a week of treatment and tests, she was reunited with the sea. Not since she was a newborn, but she so keenly paddled into the lapping waves. Thanks for watching this slightly shorter than usual episode of Deep Blue Discovery. We thought this story was worth telling and hope you appreciate us publishing it on the channel. We'll be back next week with an awesome video about mass gatherings in the ocean.